your Ozempic questions answered. Let's start with the most basic question, what is Ozempic? So Ozempic consists of a medication called semaglutide, which is approved for the disease of diabetes and is dosed at one or even two milligrams a week at that dose and brand named as Ozempic. Now the exact same medication, semaglutide, is approved for the disease of obesity and marketed as Wegovi at 2.4 milligrams a week. So you might wonder, why are people using Ozempic for weight loss if Wegovi is for weight loss? And it's because Wegovi is so popular that due to high demand and drug shortages, a lot of patients don't have access to it. So people are using Ozempic in the meantime. And this is technically off-label use in the sense that it's not being used at the optimal higher dose for weight loss, but the majority of people do see a significant benefit even at one or two milligrams a week. So how does Ozempic work for weight loss? Well, Ozempic is a GLP-1 agonist. It slows down how fast your stomach empties food and you're fuller longer with smaller portions. And it also acts centrally in your brain to reduce appetite so you eat less throughout the day. And on average, at the higher dose at 2.4 milligrams a week, people lose about 15% of their body weight. You may have heard about Ozempic face and be wondering, is this something I should worry about? Well, whenever you lose a significant amount of body weight, regardless of how, you lose fat tissue throughout your body. And when you lose fat tissue in your face, it can potentially increase the signs of fine lines and wrinkles, but it's absolutely not specific to Ozempic itself. It's just due to significant weight loss. You may also be wondering about muscle loss. And it's right that when you lose weight on Ozempic, you lose both fat mass and lean body mass, but you lose much more fat mass so that your lean body mass percentage actually increases. Another very common question is, do I have to be on Ozempic forever? And if I stop it, will I regain the weight? And like any chronic disease medication, Ozempic is designed to be taken long-term. You can stop it at any time, but the majority of patients do regain the weight that they lost. I often use the analogy of, you wouldn't expect to take a medication for your high blood pressure for three or six months, and then expect to stop it and have perfect blood pressure for the rest of your life. The last question I often hear is, does Ozempic cause cancer? And the two main cancers we're worried about here are thyroid cancer and pancreatic cancer. It is correct that in animal studies, specifically in rats, there was an uptick in thyroid cancer using the medication Ozempic. But it's important to realize that rats have different thyroid cells than humans do, and there are not clinical studies to suggest that Ozempic causes an increased risk in thyroid cancer in humans. Similarly, there are no clinical studies suggesting that Ozempic causes an increase in pancreatic cancer. And we know that reducing or optimizing your weight when living with the disease of obesity certainly decreases your risk of cancer. I hope that clears things up. If you have any more questions, ask your doctor.